QOL, quality of life. Are you familiar with the concept of quality of life? We all wish to live a full and happy life, to be productive, and to be able to enjoy life's events. To achieve a high quality of life, it is essential to maintain good health. The QST Hospital is a leading center for radiological science and technology, focusing on heavy particle radiotherapy using a carbon ion beam. Carbon ion therapy was first implemented in 1994. As of March 2022, more than 14,100 patients have been treated with carbon ion therapy. At present, the hospital staff consists of 170 employees, including physicians, physicists, technologists, and nurses. We promote cancer radiotherapy and clinical research. We provide safe and highly specialized medical technology for our patients. Let's take a look at how the carbon ion beam is generated. The first step is to accelerate the carbon ions using an accelerator complex called HIMAC. Carbon ions are accelerated to nearly 70% of the speed of light. The carbon ion beam is then delivered to the fixed beam lines and rotating gantry in the treatment room where the beam is irradiated to the patient's tumor. When delivering the carbon ion beam to the patient, it stops at the side of the lesion where it is the most powerful. We have been using a new pencil beam scanning method since 2011, whereby the beam sweeps laterally and vertically over the target. This has made it easier to perform a short course, hypofractionated treatment. Now let's explore the three main advantages of carbon ion radiotherapy. Carbon ion radiotherapy is a gentle treatment that does not require any incisions. Patients do not feel pain during the irradiation. In addition, the normal cells do not suffer much damage or side effects, and the irradiation can be focused exclusively in the cancer lesion. Another advantage is that the risk of cancer recurrence is very small. In radiation therapy, cancer cells are killed by damaging their DNA with radiation. With X-ray irradiation, DNA damage is induced in cancer cells, but this damage is repaired with time. On the other hand, with carbon ion irradiation, the DNA of cancer cells is fatally damaged, and this damage is difficult to repair. With a carbon ion beam, the number and period of treatments can be greatly reduced, minimizing the burden on the patient. This is a great advantage as the patient can quickly return to society. Now let's take a look at the types of cancers that are indicated for carbon ion radiotherapy. This figure shows the types of cancers that are indicated for carbon ion radiotherapy at our hospital. The representative tumor sites shown on the right side of the figure are the head and neck, bone and soft tissue, prostate, and post-operative recurrence of rectal cancer. On the left side of the figure, the typical tumor sites are the lungs, liver, and pancreas. This figure shows the total number of patients treated so far. As of March 2022, the site with the largest number is the prostate with about 4,000 patients, followed by the bone and soft tissue, head and neck, and lungs with a number in the thousands. This is followed by the pancreas, liver, post-operative recurrence of rectal cancer, uterus, eyes, and digestive tract. Looking at this figure, it can be seen that almost all types of cancer have been treated. The cost of the treatment for Japanese patients depends on the tumor site. Some patients are covered by public insurance, whereas others are treated under the name of advanced technology or clinical trials, and the costs are different for each. The medical fees for overseas patients who do not have public medical insurance in Japan must be paid at their own expense. 
The consulting fee including tax for the initial indication judgment is 11,000 to 22,000 yen and the fee for the carbon ion therapy is fixed at 5.28 million yen regardless of the number of irradiations or site of tumor. All patients are informed of the cost of other items in advance. We strive for transparency. Now let's take a look at the treatment flow. The QST Hospital accepts overseas patients who wish to receive carbon ion radiotherapy. Most of the patients are referred by medical coordinators or foreign doctors, but some requests for consultations come directly from the patients themselves or their families. In all cases, diagnostic images in DICOM format as well as the patient's medical history are essential for evaluating the patient's suitability for carbon ion radiotherapy. Recent diagnostic images, preferably taken within the last three months, are needed to ensure accurate pinpoint irradiation with a carbon ion beam. Once the indication for carbon ion radiotherapy is determined, the patient will be informed of the treatment schedule, including the date of the first visit. Next, the procedures required for the patient's trip to Japan will be performed, including obtaining a medical visa if needed and other individualized procedures. On the day of the first visit at the QST hospital, the doctor in charge will explain all the features of carbon ion radiotherapy as well as the treatment schedule. For obtaining informed consent IC, the doctor will provide a detailed explanation of the characteristics of carbon ion radiotherapy. The patient may ask any questions or discuss any concerns at this time. Once the patient signs the IC, preparations for the treatment are initiated. First, a personalized fixation device is made to help the patient maintain the same position during the treatment. By wearing the device, the patient's body movement can be minimized during the treatment. The patient is placed in the fixation device and a CT scan is taken for the purpose of planning the treatment. The patient will be in either a supine or prone position during the treatment and the CT scan is taken with the patient in the same position. Next, a case conference is held for the medical team to confirm the treatment plan and discuss the patient's status. The informed consent and a cancer board ensure that the treatment will be appropriately performed for each patient. A specialized team in charge of the treatment will validate the treatment plan for each patient. It's time to begin the treatment. The patient is helped onto the treatment table and is positioned by the radiological technologists, which usually takes about 15 minutes. During the irradiation, the patient feels no pain, heat, or any other discomfort. The treatment is stress-free. Patients can be either hospitalized or outpatients. The number of fractions depends on the type and condition of the disease. The average number of fractions is about 12 given over three weeks, although some sites such as the lung and liver require only one or a few fractions, whereas some require up to 20 fractions. Treatment is usually performed four times a week. After completion of the carbon ion therapy, we will follow up with the patient in cooperation with the referring physician. Introduction of the facilities and environment. We have two treatment rooms, and in each room, irradiation can be directed from two angles, vertically and horizontally. There is also a room with a rotating gantry that permits 360 degree irradiation. Patients can receive treatment in a comfortable position lying on their back or on their stomach. The irradiation time for each session depends on the size of the tumor and the radiation dose to be administered. It may only take a few minutes, as in the case of prostate cancer, or it may take up to 20 minutes. The patient feels no pain or heat during the irradiation. We also conduct research and development of image analysis methods. 
In an effort to provide the most precise carbon ion therapy, we analyze images of cancerous lesions and assess changes in blood flow. Our inpatient wards are on the fourth and fifth floors of the QST hospital. We also have special rooms, A, B, C, and four bed rooms, and we accept requests for admission. Full-time specialist nurses at the nurses' station are on duty day and night to look after the patients. The QST hospital accepts patients from overseas. Contact us by email or phone and our staff will be happy to answer any questions. Please note that in order for us to evaluate the eligibility for carbon ion therapy, diagnostic images as well as the patient's medical history are necessary. It is advisable to ask for the support of a medical coordinator when consulting with us. For referrals or inquiries for overseas patients, please contact us at the International Office.